everybody, I'm going to show you a couple of demonstrations today using colligative properties. This first one is boiling point elevation. I'm going to put 100 milliliters of water in each one of these beakers. And in this beaker on the left, I'm going to add 10 grams of sodium chloride. This is going to produce a solution of sodium chloride. I'm going to take each one of these beakers and put them on the hot plate. And I'm also going to put a temperature probe inside each one so that I can monitor the temperature. Here's what the temperature looks like. I'm gonna let this run for about five or six minutes. We're gonna speed this up because we don't want it to take forever. As you can see, both of the solutions are increasing their temperature at about the same rate. Let's check in on the beakers here and see what's happening at 55 degrees Celsius. As you can see, not much is happening. The temperature in the beakers continues to climb, and as you can see, the blue line is slowly pulling away from the red line. Remember, the blue line is the one where the salt has been dissolved. And so, as it approaches 100 degrees, you can see that these both are starting to bubble rather vigorously, which means we have reached the boiling point of both of the solutions. If you take a look at the temperatures of the boiling liquids, the blue one is about two degrees warmer than the red one, as you'd expect because it is a solution where the other is just water. Now I'm gonna show you freezing point depression. What you have are two beakers of just ice. And in the left one, once again, I'm gonna add 10 grams of salt. And I'm gonna mix in the salt and then we'll monitor the temperature over time, see what happens. Now once again, you've got two temperature probes, and as you can already see, the one that is in blue, which is the one that has salt in it, is dropping, and we're already two degrees, three degrees, four degrees below zero, only after about one minute. So as you can see, adding salt to water changes its boiling point and its freezing point. 